Hey, thought I'd give you guys an update on the K40. Uh, if you remember from the first video, there were some problems after I received it from OM Tech and I uh, had to replace the water pump and the fan in the back and there was a problem with the water temperature indicator. Well, since then I've been using it and to be honest, I'm pretty happy. However, stress the fact that you do have to make modifications to it. It's kind of a handyman um, laser cutter. So since the last time, since the last video, I have made some additional modifications. In particular, uh, I ended up changing out my emergency stop button. That was because of a larger project I was doing. Uh, the old one broke. Um, I have installed, and I'll show you close-ups of these, I've installed a milliamp meter in line, so you can see actually how much power. They did send me a new thermometer, uh, temperature indicator, uh, both thermometer and display for the water, but I didn't like it. Um, so I went ahead and made 3D printed um, a little uh, um, insert and I'm just using an, uh, an aquarium one. I've added inline air, so it helps to force the air outside. I've even built with 3D, with uh, Fusion 360, I actually designed and built a better interface for, to gas uh, the exhaust outside with, with a flap and everything. We'll, sh we'll look at that. And um, I've also got air assist. In addition with the air assist, I had to add something to a nozzle basically to the LED on the inside. So yeah, I've been kind of busy. I'll um, pick up the camera, come over and show you each of these. And um, I, like I said, I've received some questions about it. Uh, so far, I'm, I'm very happy with it. All of these modifications I'm about to show you, except for the initial ones were optional. Um, I didn't spend that much on these modifications. Certainly the air assist does seem to make a difference. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at each of these. All right, so let's take a look at the changes that I've made. Um, I replaced the start stop switch, the emergency switch, because I broke the other one. It was my fault. I've got a amp meter that's been installed and I replaced the um, failing thermometer just with an aquarium thermometer has a much longer line on it to the sensor that goes into the bucket it just makes it so much easier I power it on when I'm about to use it if we look inside when I wired the um, the amp meter I kind of did it so that it could be removed in the future there are some um, connectors down there for it and then on the inside We've got uh, the air assist. I got this design off of Thingiverse, but I had to change it a little bit to, to work with mine. And this, excuse me, I have a cold. And this hose runs through and out the back down to this pump that's on the floor. That's the pump there. Um, okay. Now this didn't require any modifications. So the scissor jack allows me to um, put in larger items, lower it to the focal point of the laser so that I can cut things. Uh, like I put my name on my pocket knife, for example. So instead of just laying my pocket knife flat here, which would have caused the um, point of focus to be too high, I'm able to put it on the scissor jack and lower it so it's pretty much a level with the fo focal point. Okay, um, let's see, on the side here, I have designed this, it's on a piece of wood, it allows me to power everything on. We've got the inline uh, fan there, we've got, remember, a new fan on the back, and that inline fan goes to this. I designed that in uh, Fusion 360. That goes outside where there's another one with a flap that's all uh, protected from uh, rain, et cetera. The, what looks like clay is actually firewall clay. 
um, and it is for my amateur radio a coax that goes to my amateur radio so I've protected it from bugs getting inside on both sides with that firewall um, play-doh basically um, but it's fire resistant material that's pretty much the changes I made we got inline air uh, we've got air assist pump um, I decided to use an aquarium thermometer. We had a longer line to go to the water pump station. I accidentally broke the switch, had to replace that. I put in a milliamp switch. It helps to keep good records as you cut things. Uh, in terms of uh, experience with the device, I'm happy so far. I don't do actually a lot of cutting. Um, I don't have a business of cutting, you know, so it's not like I use it every day. I use it for projects. Um, in fact, I'm working on a project now that uh, is less electronics, more Christmassy, crafty. I, I will see. Maybe I'll share it with you. Maybe, maybe I won't. Um, so with that said, remember, learn something new every day and um, enjoy yourself. Have fun. Oh, one last thing. Um, this weekend is going to be the Midwest Gaming Classic in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, I will be there Friday and Saturday. Friday, there is a Ben Heckendorn uh, badge making class, which looks pretty exciting. And then Saturday, I'll just probably be walking around going to sessions. If you get a chance to stop by and you see me, please say hi. If you have any ideas for future projects, please post them below. If you haven't subscribed, consider it. All right, take care.